and welcome back to a brand new workout video. Today we're going to slim down the arms, so I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And then without any further ado, let's get into it right away. The first exercise that we will be doing today are double triangles. So for our first exercise, we're going to make triangles like this and then we go up and down and up and down. Really good job. And we're going to do each exercise in this workout routine for one minute straight. And I hope you guys are really excited and pumped and just happy today because I'm in a really good mood actually. I have been feeling a little bit down lately. Uh, it's also due to the weather because it's so cold and gray here in the Netherlands where I'm from. And as you guys know, I'm a huge summer girl. But you know, spring is coming. Today it was actually pretty sunny. Um, so that makes me really excited. And what also makes me really excited is that I'm recording this arm workout because it has been a while since I've last done one of these and a lot of you guys requested me to do another one. So yeah, the fact that you guys asked for that and me recording new exercises that I've recently discovered uh, makes me really, really happy. And what also makes me really happy is the next exercise because those are double triangle circles. So for this one, again, we make two triangles and then we make these beautiful circles. And by the way, if you catch me looking to the side, it's because I have my laptop set up there with my timer on it. But yeah, um, speaking about happiness, because I have been struggling you know, for a while, I would say ever since 2020, I've been struggling mentally a lot. But recently, it has been going a lot better and I definitely think that that has to do with me being really grateful for life. Um, I've talked about gratitude a lot also during my work routines because it is something that I believe in so strongly. So whilst doing this beautiful exercise right now, I want you to think of something that you are genuinely grateful for. So this could be a person or it could be, you know, beautiful weather or it could be your dog or whatever it is, just something that you are grateful for. And I give you three seconds, one, two, three. Do you have something in mind? Okay, good. I want you to think of exactly that during the next exercise. And that one is one that I like to call the only way is up. So hands up like this as if you're caught by the police and then we go up because the only way is up. So I want you to think of the thing that you are grateful for, radiate all that positive energy, feel, all your happiness because of that person or that thing or that activity that you love so much and use that energy to feel good about yourself. I know a lot of you guys are here today because you want to change your appearance, you want to slim down your arms and that's fine, you know, I'm all for it. Uh, you guys also know that I, for example, have lip filler and I've also had Botox in my forehead um, and I do work out. You know, I'm not against adjusting things about yourself just because you feel like, you know, you will look better uh, when you do them. But I do want you to be satisfied with yourself um, in this very moment. And that was it for this exercise. On to the next. We are going to do arm circles. So spread your arms and we're going to circle like this. So when you think about it, it's actually much easier to think negatively about yourself because, you know, it's so much easier to think of flaws like, oh, my legs are too fat, um, my face is too round, I have this pimple on my forehead that I don't like, I don't like this and this and this about my personality, other people are way more confident, other people that I see on TikTok are way more beautiful, or you know they're smarter than me, or whatever it is. It's so easy to criticize ourselves and to see the beauty in others um, instead of 
within ourselves. But I want you to think of the things that you are grateful for in life and feel what kind of energy that brings to you, that feeling of gratitude, and then transmit that to yourself. So if you feel grateful because of the sunshine, then I want you to feel sunshine from within yourself. And I know that's a lot to ask, but we're going to practice that during this workout, okay? So that if you have a busy life, you can do two things in one. This is a little self-love moment and a workout. Next up are angel arms. Spread your wings, your arms, and fly away like a beautiful angel. Okay, so let's get started with this self-love practice. So we feel that feeling of gratitude, okay? Close your eyes for a second whilst doing this beautiful exercise and think of the things that make you grateful or the one thing that makes you grateful. Okay, now think of yourself image of yourself and then feel grateful for yourself for your body for your arms because you actually have the ability to move them be grateful that you are able to breathe be grateful that you are able to speak that you are able to see that you are able to feel be grateful for every single inch of your body because you are unique and you are beautiful just the way you are. Do you feel that positivity? Do you feel that self-love? I hope you do because with that positive energy, we move into the next exercise. And those are diamonds. We're going to make this beautiful triangle shape and then we're going up and up like a beautiful diamond. And just like a diamond, I want you to think of yourself as something rare, as something beautiful, as something glowy, as something shiny, because that is exactly what you are. And you know what makes a diamond one of the most beautiful stones in the world? It is the way the diamond sparkles. And if you think about the people that you consider beautiful, it's probably because they have that sparkle. They radiate a certain positivity, a certain confidence. You see that glow on their face, that joy in their eyes. That's what makes them beautiful. Um, so I want you to think of yourself as a diamond today and radiate that positivity. Even though you might not think you are the most beautiful person in the world, I want you to feel as if you are. Let's fake it until you make it. Just imagine yourself as the most beautiful stone, the most beautiful person on the planet. And then we're moving into up and downs. Hands up like this and up and down. Up, down, up, down. Really good job. You are powerful, you are strong, you are unique, and you are beautiful. Okay, I hope you guys love this little self-love moment in the workout. I always like to incorporate these kind of things in my workouts. If you have been following my channel, then you will know that if this is the first workout that you're doing with me, then hi, hello, this is the way I like to do my workout sessions. Because, you know, there are so many workouts here on YouTube, really good ones. You know, I have multiple ones on my channel as well. But what I feel like a lot of them are lacking is that true motivation. Because sometimes I want to work out because I feel like shit. I feel like my arms are flabby and I feel like my belly is just not in the shape I want it to be. And I go into a workout with a sense of self-deprecation with a lack of self-love and I want to get rid of all that negative energy because if you're doing a workout with me on my channel I don't want any of that I want you to come here because you want to feel love not because you hate yourself so having said that on to the next one we're going to do side to sides for this one we're going you know like the name suggests from side to side and by the way, if you don't like me talking, if you think that 
this is all a little bit too much, you're not really into the self-love pep talks, then you can always mute me. Sometimes people comment, girl, you talk way too much. And I know I'm a very talkative person. So if you feel like, you know, this is too much, but you do really like the exercises, then just mute me and put on your favorite music and leave some music recommendations in the comments down below, some good songs to work out to, some hype songs. I'm always down to hearing you guys' recommendations because, you know, my playlist is never ending. I don't even know how many hours I have on my Spotify playlist, but I'm always on the lookout for new music. So yeah, all kinds of song recommendations are definitely welcome. I kind of love all genres, so um, please let me know what you guys listen to. Then on to the next one, and those are backwards pulses. So for this one, spread your arms like this, palms facing the other way, and then we're going to do pulses. So three, two, one and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. Really good job. You're doing so amazing. When I listen to music whilst doing my workouts, I usually listen to rap or hip hop music or EDM music because obviously that's all very, you know, hyped and I get very hyped from those kind of beats and uh, also with hip hop, those kind of lyrics, you know, make me feel like a bad bitch and that's the kind of energy that I want. But sometimes that isn't distracting enough. Like I need something that distracts me fully because otherwise I'm dreading working out. So I also listen to a lot of podcasts. If you have any podcast recommendations, let me know. I love Rotten Mango by Stephanie Sue. I love true crime. That's something that a lot of people might not know about me, but I love true crime. Three and two and one. And now on to the final exercise, forward arm circles. We're going to put our arms forward like this and then we're going to make circles. So uh, yeah, I love hearing other people talk. So that's maybe why I talk so much in my own videos as well. So maybe this also felt a little bit like a podcast at least. I hope that it distracted you enough to make you feel surprised that we already arrived at the last exercise. For me personally, this went by super, super quickly and my arms are burning so much, but I didn't even feel it throughout the whole workout because I was talking so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. This workout is part of our two week program. The whole program is listed down below in the description box as well as in the pinned comments. There you can find all the workouts that we will be doing for the upcoming two weeks. I recommend you to repeat this specific workout three times in a row if you can. And then that is it. We are done. I'm so incredibly proud of you. You accomplished this. Okay, that was round one. Um, of course, if you're a beginner, then you can just stick to one round. That's completely fine. But I highly recommend you, if you want to get the most out of this workout, do it two more times. Um, right after this, like you can have a sip of water. You can, you know, loosen up the arms a little bit, do some chicken moves to get rid of that soreness, but then get right back into it. I'm going to do that as well. So I'll see you for another two rounds. I'm also going to do that. I'm going to do two more rounds right now. So good luck to myself. Good luck to you guys. Uh, just know that I love you very, very much. I'm super proud of you and that you're a beautiful human being. Lots of love. Bye-bye.